Well, that worked. Um, <laughs> okay. I think in two, perhaps three of my videos, there have been mentions or introductions to my clumboobles. And today, as I've said that Mondays are the day for storytelling, I want to tell you a story about them. Or about their villages. Now, the clumboobles that you've seen in videos so far, as puppets, are clumboobles who live on plains. I mean, like, um, meadows and grasslands, when I say that. I don't mean they live on aeroplanes, because I don't think Beckany Planet has those. Although, how they swap, they do into space, interplanetary travel. I'll work on working that one out. <laughs> but they don't fly in the skies of their planet as we do with aeroplanes and helicopters and hand gliders and things like that. They don't. But the clumboobles I'm planning to tell you about today are the ones that live in the forests. That I think it was the video two Sundays back they mentioned as having a story about the Tropicats. I do have a picture of Tropicats somewhere. I will find it for you. But it's probably not accurate to what we know, now know them to look like. Um, but Tropicats and forest clumboobles live in forests, as the name of the forest ones suggests. The forests on Beckany Planet are different. You know how on Earth when you walk through it you have a greenish light and it's all green and brown? No, you don't get that on Be Beckany Planet. Beckany Planet forests are blues. The leaves are all blues and the trees, the trunks of the trees I mean, and branches, are mainly purples. I've not actually thought, found out what, whether they change colours in the autumn months and fall to the ground, but most of the time, probably all of the time, these forests are variations of blues and purples, hence why the clambubbles have evolved to um, be mainly blue. I mean mainly purple when they live in the forests. And I am not able to find a picture of a tropicat right now. Um, doesn't really matter. Now, the tropicat, wonderful thing that it is, lives in the forest and moves around the forest a lot, hunting that. A bit like tigers would on Earth. Tigers are jungle cats, right? Yes, they are. I remember from the Jungle Book. Now, I do remember seeing it in, other, in educational shows as well. Um, and they're like that, except they aren't predators of people, of clamboobles. They might be predators of humans if they go there. We don't know. Humans haven't been to Beckany Planet before. Um, but they're friends with the villages of Clumbubbles that live in the forests. Helped them out a lot near the start of the villages being developed generations back. And have since become somewhat elusive but still likely to help the lost clambooble, be it a plain one, plains clambooble that's somehow wandered into the forest, a woodland one that's just in the forest for the day, finding some different food because I've been eating food from grasslands for too long, or a forest clambooble that's in need of more food for their village. One thing the clam the tropicats are very good at is knowing what foods are poisonous to them and what foods are safe 
for them to eat and they can do this for other species too. I th the trees um, of the forest sometimes are poisonous to the clambubles while the tropicats love to eat them. So the clambubles help. They keep the hu the clambubles alive. That's the Pedro what. They also eat from tulgy bushes apparently. I do have some notes on this story. I remember t trying to tell it for the first time. I quite enjoyed the story and then had to go. I really like this and it's got to be good law for the pl good law for Beckany Planet, but I'm not going to remember it. Get a notebook out. I've just spent a few moments in silence, sorry about that. Um, what I was saying is the Tropicats helped, helped the villagers when they fir were first starting to live in the forests. Now that might surprise people because I've always been under the impression, at least in the early foundations of Earth, of society, humans were more likely to live in woodlands though that might just be in the history of England pro rather than history of the world because the hotter countries where all humans meant to be descended from always sound like they're more grasslands. Anyway, enough musing aside, these people evolved first on grasslands and plains and without really any big creatures helping them. Because woogie oogies and solarites don't really help them. In fact solarites hunt them. <laughs> but when they started going in the forest the tropicats started helping them. They'd look for food to eat and if the tropicats were under tropicat would help make sure they didn't poison themselves or accidentally do something to hurt themselves or if they were hurt they'd find a way to help them. Very intelligent creatures tropicats are. The only reason they're still classed as beasts is because like in the wizarding world they're different from clambubles and humans have learned to talk to clambubles haven't learned to talk to tropicats yet. Clambubles do have a do believe that they can communicate with the tropicats though. Although they have apparently changed their name. Anyway, um, but that is my rambly story about tropicats that I've just realised was probably very badly thought out. Bye!